Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. As we know, we can create with Quick Surface amazing surfaces like this one. But in some applications, we may want to actually create a solid out of this, so it can be printed, for example. I chose this um, example because it's quite complicated here. And the normal function which we have here is the thicken command which actually takes this and using uh, the direction for example outward and if you want to make it three millimeters it moves the um, surface and creates a solid body the problem here is that the surfaces do overlap and we actually get some crease and situations here and so technically this is not suitable for printing what we want to achieve is actually a shell body like this one. And now we will show you how you can do this with a quick surface in a couple of easy steps. I will just delete this um, body for now and we'll start with the base surface. So the step one is to actually duplicate this surface. The way we do this is right click on our surface and select the command duplicate what it did it just created another identical surface i will hide the main surface at the moment and will enter in edit mode for this surface so now i can use our offset command which is to get in the commands menu and it's called offset here you can play it outward or inward and by controlling the positive or negative sign in this case i will make it three millimeters and i will get my offset surface so now we need to compromise because we want to get a thick solid here but we don't really care too much what is going to happen here as long as we get a minimum of three millimeter um, spacing between the surfaces so what I will do now is I will use the smooth command. The smooth in command can be applied in three different ways. One is while we are here, you just control, hold control and shift and you see the uh, circle on the screen. So when you move with the mouse, you actually apply this mode. But with this version, we created another explicit mode, which is called brush mode. And the icon is located in the toolbar of the surface menu so when you enter this mode you actually will get an option dialog here which gives you some control one is the circle size by using the slider you can increase the size of your circle also you can do this by holding control and using the mouse wheel so the way algorithm will work is we'll take the points which are inside the circle and we will apply smooth operation another option which you have is how strong the smoothing should be applied for example here if i move it to the most right it just it will be much more aggressive so this is how you actually apply the smoothing and in this case what we try to do is actually keep our smoothing on the on, on the convex areas but just on the concave areas here so we can just extract this and make it uh, the way we want to so i just use the mouse and because it works only on the visible points one option is you just rotate at the back and you see the problematic areas here so i will just zoom and start brushing and as you see it applies smoothing on these areas i can probably apply here and we'll continue and apply here. I will just be more aggressive on these areas and we'll get the shape like this one. We can continue here until we get the desired result. You can zoom and apply. And the way you do this, you just hold your left mouse button down and then you slightly move with the mouse. I will zoom in here and apply. So as you see, I created my shape here the way I want it to be. When I'm ready with this and when I'm happy, I just press close. So now I have my um, 
side surface and I have the other one. The next step which we need to do is actually take this surface, right click on it and apply the command which is called flip. In quick surface we make a difference of the orientation of the surfaces. That's why one is, uh, side is colored with the blue color and the reverse is colored with orange. This is important when you want to create a topology connection between the two surfaces. The next step which we need to apply is actually to merge both of them into a single surface. The way we do this is by selecting one, then holding the control key, the same like in Windows, we select the other surface. Then we right click and select the command merge. What happened now is that actually both surfaces are merged into one single surface and it's one logical component of uh, quick surface. The next step is actually I will go and edit my surface. What we need to do now is just connect the two surfaces and create our solid body. The way we do this is by selecting the two boundaries. Again, the easiest way to do this is just by choosing the selection option to be to boundary. And in this case, if I just highlight an edge here, if I click, it will just select the whole boundary. Then I can hold Control key and click on the other edge, and it will select the other boundary. Now we can use our command, which is called Bridge Edges. Bridge Edges works in such a way that it takes the two um, edge chains, and if they have the same number of edges, it will join them together. And I press Bridge Edges. As you see, it closed the surface and created what we probably need to, to have. But we are not ready yet because I didn't want this to be smooth. So I will just edit and undo this operation. What we need to do now is actually tell the software that these edges here, they need to be sharp. The way we do this is by selecting the option which is called crease. The crease command tells the um, software that these edges will be sharp. And even more, they are colored in, uh, in a different color, which is orange. So you know that they, these are uh, sharp um, edges. So the next step, I will repeat what I did before, just by clicking on this edge, holding the control to select the other boundary, and then I select bridge edges. As you see, now we got a nice and good uh, looking um, object, which is much more suitable for printing or further processing. I will just undo now to show you just one last option which is important and this is in the case when you have sharp corners here like this one what we want to do here because our object is sharp we have a corner here we actually want to keep this sharp so this means that if I pick these two boundaries and if I create bridge between them as you see it's rounded and it's normal because um, the software doesn't know that there are sharp edges here. The way we need to can improve this is just by selecting this edge. I need to turn now my mode to edge just selections. I can use point and edges or edges only. And I click on this edge. In this case, I can just select and tell the software that this is a crease. Now, if you see the object, it's actually produced a sharp corner here, which is what we want for our purposes. I hope this tutorial is useful and I'm sure you'll be able to create a really nice um, shell solids with quick surface. Thank you for watching.